What's up everyone? I'm here in beautiful Greenwich, London and I'm going to be taking the light rail for the first time. I'll also be changing over to the Elizabeth line to central London. I'm visiting from New York, so this is going to be pretty interesting to ride and to see how it works. This is the station I'm going to be entering in, Cuddy Sark for Maritime Greenwich. Hopefully this train will be able to accommodate everyone since it is a light rail. I know light rails, they, are, they don't really hold as many passengers as a heavy rail system. The method of payment for the TFL Transport for London system is Oyster Card but you can also use a contactless payment method like your smartphone or a contactless card, which is what I'm going to be doing today. The fares vary based on the number of zones you travel as well as the time you travel. So it's best to refer to the TFL website to determine how much you'll pay. Get a refund on delayed journeys if you're delayed more than 15 minutes on the tube or DLR or 30 minutes on the over ground or Elizabeth lines, you can get a refund. Which is pretty nice considering the New York City transit system doesn't even give you a refund. And I know a lot of people get pretty bitter about that when the trains don't work as they should and they still pay the fare. Okay, I hope I can figure out which way is to, cent to central London. Oh, I guess you pay here. It's not a fare gate. DLR platform one and two. Quite a bit of steps to get to the platform. Uh, I think left is towards central London, towards Bank and Stratford. Let's see what station I should get off. So I'm right here, Cuddy Sark from Maritime Greenwich. Um, you know what? 
this uh, map doesn't even have the Elizabeth line on it. But I do believe it serves Canary Wharf, the Elizabeth line, so I could transfer there. Oh, this one has it. Okay, Cuddy Sar from Maritime Greenwich. I'll get off at Canary Wharf, transfer to West India Key, and then I'll take the Elizabeth line to uh, Leicester Square, I guess. Yeah, that's the plan. Coming in one minute towards Bank Station. That's where the Bank of England is located. I walked by there before. I do believe the train is coming this way. Let's see what this train looks like. I do believe the D stands for Docklands, Docklands Light Rail. Seems pretty like a pretty smooth running train. Actually, pretty wide considering it's a light rail. Let's see how these seats are. Not bad, cushioned very well. Looks like the entire train uh, car is open. No doors between. Good acceleration. I like this a lot better than the Bakerloo line so far, which is not my favorite. I've heard the central line is pretty bad too. It gets really hot in the central line. But so far, I'm really liking it. So far, my favorite is the Elizabeth line. But that's why I'm going to be transferring to it. announcements are clear also they have a scrolling display showing you what stop you're at and information this is Island Gardens Smooth operation for the closing doors. I wonder if this uh, will go outside anytime soon. We'll see.
Mud shoots. That's a pretty quirky name for a place, mud shoot. I guess we're uh, on the Isle of Dogs right now. And I heard from the sightseeing guy, the reason why it's called Isle of Dogs is because they cut a, a passageway through the River Thames so trains could, um, um, boats can go through easier. You see the door's not opening here because the button wasn't pressed. Good safety feature. And um, supposedly there were a lot of hunting dogs on the Isle of Dogs. That's why the name is called Isle of Dogs. So we are outside. This train is for the bank. The next stop is Cross Harbor. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. Cross Harbor. They just push the button to get on. This train holds a good amount of people. Also interesting, they have certain times you could bring your cycle on. get off at West India Key because it says uh, the Canary Wharf station is 140 meters compared to the Canary Wharf station which is 220. So a little bit of a shorter walk to get there. Great views here of Canary Wharf, which is like a business district, if you will, of London. I know many of the US banks, they have um, locations here, like Citibank and JP Morgan. It's got some pretty views on this train. Yeah. 
This is Karen Keys. It's a busy station here. This is probably the closest you'll get to a New York City skyline type environment in London. Change the London Underground Jubilee Line, the list of line, and stations towards Stratford. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. Canary Wharf Station. Let's see if the doors automatically open here or if it needs to be pushed. Oh, I guess that side. And there it opens. Alright, West India Key. This train is for Bank. The next stop is West India Key. Change for the Elizabeth Line. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. I just got the train. I'll, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. I've called your phone. Like five, six times. Okay. Let's push the button to exit. I find this rather amusing. Very smooth light rail ride. I really like it. Let's see where we go to get the Elizabeth line. Don't forget, you do need a tap out so that they can charge you the fare. Elizabeth line to the left.
not too scenic here with all this construction, but to the right looks nice. You can take the Elizabeth line to London Heathrow Airport, which is very convenient. I did it on my way coming to London. Took a ride into central London with the Elizabeth line. Plan closure Saturday the 11th. The last day of service from Heathrow will end. I think we're okay still. Let's see how the Elizabeth line at Canary Wharf is. Same here, just use your Oyster card or contactless payment method. I do believe this is a free transfer. TFL has a list of stations that are close by where they know if you tap out at, you're close enough to a transfer station and you won't get charged again. But then again, there's also a daily cap on the train system. If you uh, hit that daily cap, you won't get charged further for the day. And I believe for zones one through two, you can't get charged more than eight pounds and 10 pence. I love that the Elizabeth line has platform screen doors. So we're taking this to Leicester Square. Whitechapel's the next station. Actually, there is no Leicester Square stop. I think I need to get off at uh, Tottenham Court Road. Or perhaps Bond Street. 
I'll get off at Tottenham Court Road. So four stops. This is the train to Reading. Next station, Whitechapel. Change for District, Hammersmith City, and London Overground lines. I do believe this is still faster than taking the. Change here for trains to Heathrow Airport. It is faster than taking the DLR to uh, Central London. The Elizabeth line is newer and it's completely uh, underground through Central London. Then again, DLR might be too. So far, this is still my favorite train line. Extremely smooth. You don't really feel too many bumps. It's quiet. And it has those platform screen doors. Next station, Whitechapel. Change here for trains to Sheffield via Stratford. Street is a big rail station.
Busy station as expected, since it is a major rail station. And uh, get six other TFL train services here. Stop. Farringdon. This is the train to Reading. Next station, Tottenham Court Road. the train to Reading. Next station, Tottenham Court Road. Change for Central and Northern.
here we are, Tottenham Court Road. It's a very smooth train ride from Canary Wharf. Love the Elizabeth line, very functional. Has all the route maps on the train and the electronic displays, modern. Amazing train service. Way out. Welcome to Tottenham Court Road Station. For your safety and security, CCTV is in use throughout London. Help us to keep your journey like the safety and smooth. Keep your belongings with you at all times. And if you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. That's something new that I haven't heard in other transit systems, the saying, see it, say it, sort it. What does sort it mean? It means to get it finished. In New York City, there's a saying that says, if you see something, say something. Don't keep it to yourself. Tell a police officer or an MTA employee. Long escalator. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of uh, the Hudson Yards escalator on the number seven line. Be sure to tap out with the same payment method you use to get in. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.